Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Flatex Play. Today I would like to create a trip card with folding animation. The original code pen is from Madalena. She created this pen with HTML, CSS and JavaScript and I would like to create the same one with Flatter. So without further ado, let's get started. I already prepared a little bit for our project. We have here a trip card. Our trip card widget is built out of a stack with the three different screens for now. The first screen which we can see here is the inside screen. The inside screen is pretty easy. It's just a container with a column and in the column we have different widgets. One of the widgets that I use here is animated button, which is a custom animated button. And for this button, I already create a video, which you can see in the info box. If you want to see how can, you can create this. Video. The second widget is the image screen. Here I will check if our application was compiled to run on the web. And if this is the case, I will use here the network image. And if this is not the case, I will use an asset image. And our last screen is the cover screen. If I jump in the cover screen, we can see that this screen built out of a container and in the container we have a column and in the column we have a pink container with all widgets inside of this and a white container. So guys, let's start with some coding. At first, I would like to create this small triangle on our cover screen. For doing this, I will cut a small triangle from our white container. To do that, I will wrap our white container with a clip path. It's important to know that the clip path widget is in general expensive. Therefore, if it's possible that we use a default widget from Flutter such as a clip rect or, or a clip oval, it's better to use them. But in my case, I want to clip our child in a custom path. So I will use a clip path. And one of the parameters that I should provide is the clipper. I will call it triangle clipper. Our clipper is a basic class which extends the custom clipper. And it implements two methods. The first method is the get clip method. It will receive the parameter size. And here we can define the path which should be clipped. And the second method is the should reclip, which will be called when our custom clipper will be rebuilt. And when I save it, we can see the small triangle in our white container. The next effect that I would like to implement is the horizontal movement animation. If we have a look in our original example, we can see as soon as I hover on the card, we can see that the card have a mood movement to the right side. To implement this animation, we need two widgets. The first widget is an inkwell, which will help us to recognize when the user hover on our card. At first, I will call the untap method to activate our inkwell widget. And after that, I will call the unhover method and write an if else statement in this method. For now, I will print just some value and later I will change it. And the second widget that we need is a transform translate widget, which will help us to change the offset of our card. This has a parameter offset. I will give it for now the value of our animation and as next, we will implement the animation. Instead of a stateless widget, we need a stateful widget. And after that, I need two attributes. The first one is an animation controller and the second one is an animation. Now it's time to initialize these attributes. I will write an init state and in the init state, we will initialize our controller. It's going to be an animation controller with a vsync and a duration. And our animation is a tween animation from type offset. The twin animation has two parameters, the begin and the end. Both of them are going to be offset and here we can define the horizontal movement of our card. So the begin offset is 0, 0 and the end offset is 100 and 0. And now I call the animate and use the curved animation with the curve linear. And after that, call the add listener. And in add listener, I will call the set state to update our state. 
After that, I will use the controller in the if else statement in the inkwell widget. In the if part, I will call the forward method on our controller, and in the else part, I will call the reverse. The next effect that I would like to create is the white triangle on the right side of our image screen. To create this, I will use the clip path. I jump into the image screen widget and as I explained before, I check here if our application was compiled to run on the web and if this is the case, I can't use at the moment the clip path for our network image. This is already a known issue that is in GitHub. You can find the link to the GitHub issue in the video description. But I will use the clip path for our image widget. I will wrap our image widget in a clip path and like the previous one which we created at the beginning, I will create a custom clipper for this one. Be mindful, because we will transform our image screen later, I should create this triangle on the left side. And after that, when we transform this screen, we will see the triangle on the right side. Amazing guys, we are almost there. The last animation that I would like to implement is this flipping effect. We should be considered as soon as I hover on the card, we can see that the horizontal movement animation and the flipping part will happen in the same time. That means we can use the same animation controller. At first, I will create a new file, which I call it animatedScreen.dart. Here I will create a stateless widget and as a return parameter instead of a container we need a transform widget. This will transform its child. The transform parameter is gonna be the rotation of radian around y with the animation value which we are created later. And the child is gonna be a get a screen method which we also created as next. I will convert our state less widget to a state full widget and create an animation controller. As I told you, we will get the controller from our parent widget. I create an animation and a visible screen attribute and initialize the animation with a tween animation in our init state. Now it's time to create the get screen method. This method will return a widget which is going to be our cover screen or the image screen. Here I will create a if else statement and I will check the animation value. If it's smaller than 0.5, I will show the cover screen. And if this is not the case, we will show the image screen. And last but not least, we will replace the image and cover screen with the animated screen and pass the controller into it. Amazing guys, we made it. And now when we hover on the card, we can see the flip animation. Thank you very much guys for staying with me and watching my video. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a like and if you haven't yet, please subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned until the next time. See you!